This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what? by 
Preston. And they're up 43 to 34, 452. Save it and do to London Turner. That's a foul against Hammonds. That's her first game. That's a foul you can even afford in every West. That's even team first team foul in the second. Half here. Inside and Smith gets it in. And for the light finish. Inside, she's shooting two. Two shot foul to come. 420 here left in the third. Back here to game action. 413 left here in the third. Tried to swing it in was Nelson. And we got a hell ball of a session there. Oh, she goes. No, it's a travel instead. Call the walk. Crossburg catches a break there. the drop to go that time. Gabby Johnson escapes with it. Over to Pryor. Pryor steps back. Deep two. Off the glass and in. They call it a three, actually. They said it was a three. Floater up top. No. Hell, hell ball. Weston gets it back. 340 here left in a third. Of a back here to game action. Down the seconds. Inside. And the wall quick time is on. 20.2 left. The shot clock is off. And the game clock at 28.2. Weston pretty much dribbles some time. I'll get the last shot of the court. Again, they're looking at Gabby 
Johnson. They were trying to get Colt in the game. She's definitely laboring there. No, she do not want to come out this contest. 704 left in this one. Western up by 12. Back to game action here. There's a 10 point lead here for Western with 418 left in this one. Oh, you can ask for four four go final. Prior to the basket. A little wide that time. Defense is running for there from Foxburg to their crowd. Smith again, that was high off the arm. High with the rebound. She's off to the races. Off the races with Pitcher. That's a foul, that's two shots. It's a 17 foul on Foxburg. They stay with you with these free throws right here. 356 left in this one.
Jones right now. He's trying to seal the deal, as they say. Seconds left, Weston trying to win this one. Both teams with one timeout remaining. And for a girls final. We're back with full coverage of the girls 2A girls and 3A final. As we're still having an issue here, I think they're getting it got together. And we'll have a piece of the 3, of the 2A and 4A boys final. That's a foul. Here. They're trying to get prior over 35 points. I have followed performance in a Western uniform. Prior hits it. 34 for the departing senior going to Sacred Heart next year. Second shot here. Got it. Lead to 12. Got it. D3 from Smith. That's here. 44 seconds left. Weston took down Glenn Burney. That was undefeated. From Anne Arundel County in the semis. And they're 44 seconds away from taking down North Montgomery County undefeated girls team in Clarksburg. Kind of had to foul there. Back with the finish. Trophy presentation at Western's post game conference coming up. Fire hits both of free throws. He has 37 points in this championship final. Nelson, deep shot, hits it. Cuts the lead. And a foul there, 23, 27 seconds left. Johnson will be shooting too. for three. Yes, all net. That's the lead to ten. Prior foul again. Stay with you to the finish. Prior trying to get 39 here on his two free throws. What a way to end out her career at Weston. Her and Gabby Johnson both. First shot. Got it. Again, deep three. In and out. Rebound back to Pryor. She gets fouled one more time. They got a chance to go. 
Nation and Western Centerville from the Victors coming up. The Western Dubs, four seed and four winning the four title. Yeah, something like that. Beat the ass. They did. They did, man. I know, right? Unbelievable. Johnson in final time in a Western uniform. Feels good. 
feels good. I mean, these girls have been working all year. They've been working for the last four years, some of them. And then I have Maya, who's our 10th grader. But I have an awesome group here, and I think it should. Just give us your general impressions of the way the Sierra played tonight. Uh, four fouls in the first half and stayed in the game the whole time and scored 40 points. What can you say about her? We had a talk. I mean, I can't say nothing that everybody don't already know. I mean, she, she came, she handled her business. It was what they wanted. They set out to do it and they did it. She wasn't going to let anything, whether it be a foul. They, you would have to pull her off this court. And she knew a foul could do it. And she knew she had to stay in the game. And she did. How'd you do that? Um, <laughs> like she said, I, I, uh, we had a, a conversation at halftime. She was just like, you know what to do. You just gotta go out there and, and play smart. So uh, I just went out there, I played smart. I knew my team needed me. So I just went out there and I played my game. And uh, it's true. Uh, I just wanted the state championship. And me and my seven, we won the state championship. So I'm feeling great about that. Talk about the beginning of the game. How did you, did you feel like you were gonna get those openings to the basket? I mean, they were taller, but you were getting through and under and everything. <laughs> um, well, we watched a lot of film on them and um, we just, stuck to the game plan and she was just like it's a lot of gaps in between the um the zones so we just went out there and we attacked the game same same way with uh gabby she went out there and she attacked the gaps as well we just took what the defense gave us if they gave us an open shot we shot the shot if they didn't we uh drove and kicked it out to the open person so we didn't try to overdo it we just stuck to the game plan and it's showtime i saw about five games this year mm -hmm. uh, you guys have been you look for the press, like when you see that press, is that like, that's not Well, when I see a press, my eyes open up big because nobody in Maryland can keep up with us. We just showed us in the state run. We love when people press us. We pass through. We always get an open layup. Like she said, we draw our gaps. Maya always in the corner here, her threes, when she want to pump fake and go by. So when we see a press, our eyes open. We practice that all the time in um, practice. So we feel like it's like practice to us because our practice is always intense and the game is intense. So that's just like, our eyes will open up wide when we do that. And our coach just be like, y'all ready? Ready to go on this run? So that's how we settle the right pressure to know that. What was the halftime talk like? I mean, Pryor has four fouls. Clarksburg's got the lead. Well, you guys are only up by basket, obviously. They have the momentum going into the second half. What was the talk at halftime? Well, I talk. Coach Tasha said, look, this is y'all game. What we gonna do, we're gonna come out slow, we're gonna come out aggressive. Pooney know how to play before fouls. She did it before I've been playing her sixth grade. I seen her do it before. Maya turned up high intensity on defense. Courtney turned it up. Everybody turned it up because we wanted it. Nobody was hungrier than us in Merlin. We already said that when we won in the Sims. Nobody hungrier than us. So we just took advantage of the crowd. The crowd was booing us. The crowd, we took that as momentum too. So basically we had the momentum when they thought they had them. Yeah, um, like she said, I want to uh, piggyback off of what she said. Uh, Kutosha, she ain't really had much to say. She already knew what we was going to go out there and do. She just was like, this is y'all game. When we was a draw, this is y'all game. If y'all don't come out with the uh, same intensity that y'all came out in the beginning, we got to stick to the game plan. Um, we started going away from it, so that that's what uh, got them back in the game. But when we started playing our game again, we took the momentum again, and we scored, made easy baskets, and we ain't tried to do too much. So, yeah. Tell us a little bit the trust you have. I don't know if you saw me, but when Nasir got three, I looked at her. <clears throat> when she got the fourth one, I looked at her. Gabby went down a little bit. They already know. I fully trust them. That's not the concern. The concern is when we call those timeouts or when they come over, I just got to bring them back. That's all I have to do with them is bring them back. But they know. I'll give my right arm for them. They're going to make it happen. They're going to do what they're supposed to do to win the game. And everybody knows that it comes in our gym. If they don't win, trust me, it's not from them trying. Coach Tosh, two things. You know, death was an issue. I, I, I think y'all get National Christian Academy. Didn't have many players for the city title game. It's been kind of sense, but y'all been able to overcome that. And second, I've been seeing y'all over the years, and it's just been amazing to see the tough competition y'all played, the matchups with Howard over the years and this year playing St. Francis and playing all the tough competition and Pali getting through that hump this year. Just talk about all that and what it means to get to this point. Well, you have to be challenged to get better. I tell my girls all the time, sometimes you got to take a loss to get a win. So we're not afraid to play anyone. We welcome every opponent. And all we want to do is get better. 
we don't keep up with the stats, we don't keep up with the numbers. All we do is look at film to see how we're gonna get better. We stick to our game plan and this is the result. And that's all we can do. We can't go by with that person's doing, this program, this school. We want to get on the court and play. And that's what I've been saying all year. These girls missed the whole year. I don't think nobody, nobody really understands the impact they had. And I do. So with that being said, we do things different. Al, if you see our transition, it's different. Some people try to mimic it, some people try to keep up, but it's a method to what we do. So we just gotta continue to look for different things to get us over the hump. And as long as we've been doing it and I get the right players and the right athletes, I think it's, you know, we just, I'm just trying to stay relevant, you know, at, from my, at my alma mater. Um, I'm gonna piggyback up on what she said. As um, far as like the wins and losses, uh, definitely we, we lost to Polly in uh, three, two years. The third year we was gonna get a buck. He didn't get a buck, so. <laughs> but um, uh, we we owe everybody that we lost to. So we wanted it more. Like we beat Polly twice. Um, National Christian. We we lost to them our sophomore That's year. That's right. But then we yes. beat them this year. Yeah. We just we just wanted our payback with everybody. And a lot of people was uh you know doubting us. A lot of people even in Maryland was just doubting us. But we just wanted it more. We was like okay. We took we took everything. We just went up there and we played. And they showed. One thing I ask them too, I'm sorry, one thing I ask them every year, just to piggyback on that, who do you want to play? That's just the question I ask them. Who do you want to play? Ain't that no smooth. No, Last question. I, you, um, I saw you wrestling, scrapping. You were scrapping like every rebound of it. What point did you feel like, okay, we're about to win this? Like, it just felt like you just started growing in the game, you just grabbing everything to fight. What point did you feel like, okay, we're about to get this? Um, at the point of the game was when they kept failing us and we was going to the lines. And I felt like I just needed to keep that momentum going. So um, when the clock was stopped and they would make their free throws, we would keep the lead and they wouldn't try to like come back. And I had to um, limit the second um, second shot opportunities so they wouldn't continuously keep them up. I just want to get one more question. Tasha, talk about this championship and what it means to Western. Don't you think you guys last won the championship? Mid 90s. 94, yeah. right? 94. 95. It was 95. It was, uh, um, so, yeah. So, it means a lot. I mean, these girls could tell you do I ask about a city championship? No. Do I ask about a regional championship? No. What do we care about? She go to the states. To the state this is what it's all about. This is what I do with all my girls as soon as they come in. I basically, we map out a plan from ninth grade. From ninth grade, they've been here, like I said, every year. This is the plan, this is the mecca, and this is the goal for my kids every year at my program. We come up short, that's a problem. But this is the, always the goal. And for Western, it means so much because 95 is a long time. I'm glad to have Rizzi Bishop still living. She's still here, she's witnessed it. Even when I came on board, we had this whole conversation. She said, we need to be where we were. And, and I told her, we were going to be there. And I feel like we're right where we needed to be. It's a tradition, a legacy. And I, I'm so humbled to be there and honor that legacy. And every young lady I bring, first thing I do is I let them know what Western is about. The sisterhood, the legacy, it's not like it. And then, so this, Nasir, what did it feel like to, oh, I'm sorry. We, we, we need to finish up and get them on the road. One more. Uh, Nasir, I'm not sure if you knew when you set up the line in the last five seconds that you were one point away from 40. And I, I, when, once you officially sunk the second one and got the 40 points, I know Coach said that you guys aren't focused on individual accolades. You're focused on the team. And you knew you had the game at that point. But to officially cap off the performance with 40, just can you t talk to me about how gratifying that was? Uh, I, I never really cared about the points. Like Coach Dasha said, uh, it was just a win. Um, when it was a draw, we just had to put the ball in a basket. And I knew my teammates trusted, uh, trusted me with the ball. So I just went out there and I played. I never really cared about, you know, the points. Like I said, uh, we just wanted to win. So we went out there and we just won. So. Real quick, go ahead. Um, so what did it feel like to hold that big trophy? <laughs> Um, you've been talking about it for a while. Yeah, so um, our freshman year, we, you know, we came up short, but this year we was like, we want the states. We're going to get the states. Um, before we left Western, we looked at the um, the board and we saw that they had the state championships and we like, we're going to be up there. We, 
We came in here and we played our game. That's that's all we could ask for. Like, that's all Coach Tasha and Coach Curry could ask for. We just went out there and we played. Like I'm so proud of this team. It's complete seven, seven strong. Hey, great way to end the uh, senior year. Yes, she can play. Congratulations, yeah. coach. Congratulations, Congratulations, players. Thank you. Thank you. Are going to get the big picture up on the wall now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get that nice picture next. I know we just posted that. We already picked that out of the board. Oh, boy. That'll be a big one. Nasir. Nasir or Nasir? Nasir. 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 Got it. Very nice. Committed anywhere yet? Yeah, Secret Heart University. Got it. Awesome. Thanks so much. I want to get you. Congrats, coach. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture. Yep. Over Coach Small's desk, Kathy. Over Coach Small's office, we're going to put the picture over Coach Small. Okay. Morgan. 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 Weston. Winning MPSSA title for the first time since 1995. Oh, 495 season. There you go. Thank you. We'll be back again for the 2A girls, Hefford and Falston, and that's coming up here tomorrow here on DSN. Until then, so long for now from College Park. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what?